Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. One of Hollywood's most beloved actors couldn't take it and blew up the spot on Hillary Clinton and former President Barack Obama. Eastwood is an old school actor, proud of his country and living the great American dream and speaking his mind, embracing his wonderful First Amendment. It didn't take long for Eastwood, 87, to open up about his distaste for Clinton and Obama, and thus showing his support for President Trump. Eastwood firstly didn't announce his support for Trump, but when asked if he would support Trump or Clinton for president, then he sided with Donald. The reason is that he believed Clinton would follow in the footsteps of Obama and Eastwood wasn't particularly a fan of Barack's presidency. America turned soft under Obama and Clint Eastwood seems to despise the weakness that is found in the millennial generation who are offended by everything and trying to live in safe spaces which have proved to be embarrassing to America in general. Clint comes from the tough generation where people weren't so soft. His generation believed in the discipline at home and treating people with respect. His generation believed there were only two genders and people could not switch at any given moment in the day. Clint Eastwood is often criticized for his beliefs but he speaks his mind and that's something he believes that everyone should be able to do. The Variety website wrote this bit about him, Clint Eastwood says that he hasn't endorsed any candidate for president, but given a choice between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, he'd choose the latter. That's a tough one, isn't it? I'd have to go for Trump, you know, cause she's declared that she's gonna follow in Obama's footsteps, Eastwood says in Esquire's September issue. There's been just too much funny business on both sides of the aisle. She's made a lot of dough out of being a politician. I gave up dough to be a politician. I'm sure that Ronald Reagan gave up dough to be a politician. Eastwood was clear that he hasn't endorsed anyone, I haven't talked to Trump. I haven't talked to anybody. But he was full of praises for the Republican nominee for being onto something, because secretly everybody's getting tired of political correctness, kissing up. In fact, Eastwood said, we're really in a P, Y generation. Everybody's walking on eggshells. We see people accusing people of being racist and all kinds of stuff. When I grew up, those things weren't called racist. He added, you know, he's a racist now because he's talked about this judge. And yeah, it's a dumb thing to say. I mean, to predicate your opinion on the fact that the guy was born to Mexican parents or something. He's said a lot of dumb things. So have all of them. Both sides. But everybody, the press and everybody's going, oh, well, that's racist, and they're making a big hoodoo out of it. Just have, King get over it. It's a sad time in history. One thing Eastwood pointed out about Trump is that people called him racist because Trump didn't approve of a judge. Simply not approving or liking someone does not make one racist. Trump and the judge he criticized are not required to like each other. People are allowed to dislike each other without being labeled as a racist. However, there are many critics who called Trump racist for doing something such as disliking the judge or doing a travel restriction, it's not a ban and for doing things that help the laws of immigration be followed. Clint Eastwood references the latest generation as the PSI generation on account of how weak and soft people are in regards to their ability to be easily offended by everything. Combine the softness with the ever-growing emasculation of men and the gender identity politics and we have what could be considered a very sad generation where people have lost their true identity of being male or female. The other problem is that people are constantly being labeled as racist, sexist, or anything else simply because they disagree with the ideologies of another. Clint Eastwood isn't the only celebrity to speak out about Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, and the generation of people who were easily offended. James Woods and numerous other celebrities have supported Donald Trump as president. Many have supported him as a person well before he ever ran for president. How do you feel about Clint Eastwood's opinion of Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama? What is your opinion of the generation who is always offended and need to live in a safe space? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.